837, Dave, we've been talking here on Mornings on 2 about high gas prices. Many of you told us on Facebook you're either driving less or cutting back elsewhere because you have to fill up your tank. You know, Californians pay more for gas than anywhere else in the country. Let's bring in Jamie Court from Consumer Watchdog. And Jamie, we're paying about 352 a gallon here. Nationwide, it's 277. Where you are in Los Angeles, it's a lot higher, isn't it? Yeah, it's well over four dollars. I mean, we're about four thirty-three mid-city, so we're about a buck twenty over what the rest of the nation is paying, and it's it's really unprecedented the gap we've had ever since February on and off. But particularly lately, there's no good reason for it because we don't have the type of refinery outages we had earlier in the spring. I know that California summer blend adds about 20 cents a gallon at the pump. One state senator is saying we should shelve that summer blend requirement to bring drivers immediate relief. Has that ever happened, and what do you think would happen if that went through? Well, that's not quite true. According to the Air Resources Board, there's 10 cents a gallon uh, because of our uh, clean burning fuel. And maybe with taxes, uh, right now we just had a reduction in taxes, 9 cents. So we're a buck twenty above the rest of the nation. That's just a way of uh, letting the oil industry out of mandates. What we really need to do is get more imports in because the oil companies have been keeping us running on very low inventories ever since the refineries went down. We had a very big import in May and June. Gas prices started to decline. Then the oil companies turned their ships to South America. And uh, we've been charting a lot of these ships. We now have six ships going with uh, about two days supply if they're full of California refined fuel down to South America. What we believe the oil industry uh, needs to do is, is stop the ships getting out of the California refineries because we have this special blend being made here. It shouldn't be shipped down to Chile. So uh, the governor, if he really wants to fix things, needs to stop the exports. He needs to get control of this gas supply. Changing, uh, changing the blend stock isn't really going to help us. It did happen once before, but it happened two weeks, uh, and it wasn't in the summertime. Uh, it was uh, it, it, in, in, a, in a much less traveled season. And in fact, I think the refinery changeover required to do this would cause more trouble. But I do know Exxon's pushing for this proposal. And if the oil industry wants it, it's just a way of trying to save them uh, some costs. What we really need to see is more regulation and transparency in this industry. We need them to open their books and show us why we don't have adequate inventories when there's been plenty of time for them to recover from these refinery outages. And Jamie, quickly, you mentioned imports. The Iran nuclear deal, do you expect that to make a difference in the oil supply now that we can get oil from Iran for the first time since 1995? Do you expect to see a change? And if so, how soon? Well, look, I don't think this is a largely a crude oil problem. There should be plenty of crude oil going to these refineries. The oil industry says it's not about crude oil. It's about using the refining capacity we have to fuel the state and so I think the bigger problem really is about domestic production. I think absolutely we have crude oil at $50 a barrel. Last time gas prices were over $4, we were over $100 a barrel. The cost of crude and the availability isn't the issue. It's the profiteering in this industry. The oil refiners haven't been making much money on crude, so they've been making a lot of money on these West Coast refineries. That's what the profit reports show. What we need, if anything, from this governor is a windfall profits tax on refining profits that are so much greater than the norm that oil refiners get the idea. They've got to fill the state, make sure we have ample supply, and they shouldn't be sending our fuel to South America. Okay, we'll see what changes, if any, come our way. Meanwhile, we all cringe when we get below a quarter tank. <laughs> Jamie Court from Los Angeles, thank you for joining us this morning. We've been my watching pleasure. this for you. For